controversy surrounding a new mural inside of a Metro East school. It's what the mural does not say that led to some students actually walking out. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Brent Solomon. And I'm Michelle Lee. A renowned local artist says he had an uninvited collaborator when part of his painting at Cahokia High School was covered up this week. Five on your side's Abby Larico talked to that artist and district leaders today. Abby? Hey, good evening. So Kababi Bayak is a celebrated artist and St. Louisan. He's even the Grand Marshal of the Mardi Gras Parade in Soulard tomorrow. Now, he's not a professional teacher, but the painter says he believes this whole saga teaches students a lesson they wouldn't normally get at school. On the wall of Cahokia High School's gym is a picture worth more than three words, but that's how many were painted over. But I'm not surprised at all. This Kababi Bayak mural was created with a community grant and input from Cahokia students. Some of the images that came up on the mural was based on their own sketches. The main thing was just about being treated fairly and being seen, that's what they wanted. After the project, Bayok says he met with administrators and donors who wanted to bring up an issue. We knew before they even said it that it's not the whole mural. It's, they don't want to see the words Black Lives Matter on the mural. He says students were expecting a meeting to weigh in on how to move forward. Then in an unexpected collaboration, Black Lives Matter was blacked out. I don't feel like they did it to my work. I feel like they did it to the work that the children, the kids wanted to see on the wall. With a layer of paint, he says, speaks volumes. These are high school students. They're steps away from adulthood. It's good to not have a false idea of what's happening in their community. And I'm glad that they get to see the foolishness that's in charge of what's happening in their schools. If they called you and said, look, we rethink this, we kind of messed up, can you, can you come help heal it, make it look a little bit better? No, not at all. They can, I think the students themselves can put the words back up if they wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary. I think the fact that it was up there and it's gone, it says everything. We spoke on the phone with the district superintendent this afternoon. He says the phrase was not covered up due to a complaint and says they plan to speak with some student leaders this upcoming week to talk about what to do moving forward and talk about their concerns. He says he wishes they had more opportunity to talk before these adjustments were made, but says the administration has to stay neutral for all students.